going to be working with the 20 NCM. 31036CW car wash motor and we're going to be wiring it for 460 volts delta. We're using delta because it is a 12 lead motor and must be, must be wired with 12 leads. We're going to start off with the uh, interior groupings. So we're going to start with 4 and 7 which is right here. They're both going to be labeled white from the factory so that it's easier to identify them. Twist them clockwise for wire nuts. You can use split bolts and terminal rings if you so desire. Terminal rings are the best connection in my opinion. Uh, next we're going to go with 5 and 8. From the factory, they are this clear coated ones for, for your ease of use and identification. Okay, clockwise. Also wire nut. The remaining one is 6 and 9. These are both labeled red. And last we have the line voltage. They are all signified by this yellow, but you still have to pair them correctly. So we'll start with one T1 and T12. And any of these can go to any line voltage. Uh, out of the three on a three-phase system, you just have to make sure that uh, the cor you have the correct orientation. If it's not the correct one, you just have to reverse. You just have to swap two line voltages, and you, it'll re it'll reverse the rotation of the rotor. Next one is going to be ten and two. And the last one is going to be eleven and three. All the wiring diagrams are located on the nameplate and inside the junction box on new motors. If it is not legible, say you're swapping out an older motor, uh, you can find our information on our website on electromotors.com.